What's up, guys? Welcome back to the basement. This is me and the big guy. We got a bunch of books to review for you, not all of which I read. I had one of those weeks at work, so we're going to defer to Mr. Ramon over here. We got Cluster, number one, from Boom Studios. We got Hellboy in the BPRD, number three. We're going to talk real quick about Lady Killer, number two. We got Richard Corbin's Rat God, number one. We got The Goon, Once Upon a Hard Time. From DC, we got Superman, 38. From Dynamite and King Publishing, we got Jungle Jim, number one. Dynamite, we got Legendary Vampirella, issue one. We got Nameless, number one, and Postal One from Image. From Marvel, we got Guardians of the Galaxy and the X-Men, Black Vortex Alpha. Motherfuckers need to tone down the titles. Yes, they do. We also have Return of the Living Deadpool. And from Valiant, we got Imperium, number one. So, big guy, what was Book of the Week for you? I think Goon. Okay, I didn't read Goon. Of course so. not. Yeah, you bastard. I very rarely read Goon. That's like a it's Steve's thing. It is Steve's thing, and he's. But it was good. Yeah. Now did this could, did this pick up directly after the last directly one? Directly after the last okay. one. Okay. I remember you said that it was leading up to the next yeah. one. Yeah. Did you read off to finish off the last <clears throat> one? Uh, I did not finish the last one. Okay. Well, spoiler alert for you. Sure. Goon got played by some chick. Right, I remember this, yeah. And he's pissed off and miserable. And this book, he's just a... Jeez, what is he, like a fucking 16-year-old with his first heartache? Shit happens. Well, yeah, but when you're goon, it's not exactly a great life you're leading already, so... Oh, that's true. And he was played by his enemies. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't just like a chick being a bitch, it was... They sent her after him? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, he's just, he's brutal. He's just a dick. He's beating the shit out of people left and right. At one point, he, um, <clears throat> he finds one of them... One of the people moving into the territory beats the shit out of him, and they she turns into mist. Okay. So he's trying to find a way to fight her because he can't punch her. So he just takes I hate a, when I'm fighting somebody and they turn into mist. Yeah. So he just takes a bunch of acid and throws it on the floor, and the vapor starts burning her. Ah. So then she's in the floor and she's How in the How is he hand. able to touch the acid? Is he <clears> vulnerable? <throat> no, he just took a bunch of bottles of acid and smashed it on the floor. It's very conveniently placed bottles of acid, wouldn't you, th wouldn't you think? He's goon. He carries acid. It happens. I see. Yeah. So then after a while... Um, because if Batman can carry bat shark repellent, goon can carry acid, right? Yeah. So he, he, got, he has another bottle of acid and he just pours it on her. Yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah, yeah, it is. He, he's in that kind of frame of mind. Wow. Yeah. And of course, it's gorgeously drawn. Of, yeah, no. Yeah. It always is. That's... One of the things that has always attracted me to Goon is the artwork. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the main reasons that I'm really upset that I slept on it in the first place. Yeah. And I know the book itself, the, the character has jumped around with a lot of titles. So I don't really know where to even start. I know we discussed this uh, years ago, mm -hmm. I believe, seasons ago, that it was like 38 or 39 issues or something. But those issues were spread out over... Like five or six years, like they, yeah, they were the published. It comes out like, whenever the fuck you want right, to release them. Say yeah. inconsistently. No, yeah, whenever the fuck you want. And now, now we're dealing with these little mini series mm -hmm. and stuff like yes. that. But was there anything ever before that? No, it's just, I think it's one through forty-four, mm -hmm. and then the mini series. Okay. Yeah. So. So these are collected in trades, right? Yeah. I trust. So I'll have to like go on Amazon and take a look. Steve for might have them also. You could just like. I could just steal them from Steve. Yeah. 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 Guys, you ever have like those friends, those really good friends that borrow your shit for so long that you actually have to borrow it back from them? <laughs> That's us. That is the basement crew. Yeah. How yeah. long did you have them World War II books? Oh my two? god, I fucking they were like a year dust, bro. and I'm like, I'm gonna no, I'm not. I'm not gonna read these. I, I finally brought them back to you last week, and it fucking was... Adam still has my Clerks and Clerks Two and Clerks the animated series. I think it's been five years. <laughs> we had a question about this as well, but I want to talk about Superman. Yeah, we did have a question about Superman. Um, <laughs> well, Victor Jarvis wants to know, can Superman cut super forts? I believe he should be able to, yes, yeah. Yeah, hands down. Uh, if Superman can super come, uh, I think he can super fart too. It, ju it stands to reason. Eight years. <laughs> Okay, yeah. When was the last time you were fucking jerking off on some broad's tits and you catch her in the eye by mistake? 
I'm just saying. When was the, you just fucking farted like ten minutes ago? That shit sounded like you were strangling an ostrich. <laughs> I've never strangled an ostrich, Peter. Like, chill the fuck out. Don't be writing letters and sending representatives here. I'm an animal lover. But I mean, I imagine that if one were to strangle an ostrich, that's what it would have sounded like. So, you, so imagine like the. Why do you imagine these things? I'm just saying, like, imagine it right now. Somebody strangling an ostrich. I mean, if Superman can super breath and it's all fucking cold and everything, he could probably like force a super fart out. Thank you, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Elsa Nestor wants to know: Superman has new power of super flare. What the fuck? Is Superman getting fierce? Finger snap girlfriend. <laughs> um, yeah, he, 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 he was in his fight with his Ulysses in Superman 38. Right. 38? 38. 38. And he pretty much did not really help him much when it comes to saving his planet, Ulysses. Now, this guy, Ulysses, he grew up on Earth? He's from Earth, but he grew up in a different um, dimension, the fourth dimension. But he's from Earth. Yes. How did he get to the fourth dimension? His parents are scientists. And they sent him there? Yes. By mistake? No. On purpose? Yes. Some fucked up parents. No well, wonder he wanted to kill They want him to send him somewhere better. Uh-huh. Yeah. And he, he's really... And this was a better place? For the most part, he's ridiculously powerful, too. So why did they... Uh, did he get his powers from the fourth dimension? From the planet he's on. He's actually uh-huh. connected to the power source of the planet. Yeah, I, was, I, I gathered something about that, like the whole core of the planet and shit. But the core of the planet needs to be fed. Was doomed, like, and he was yeah. going to feed Earthlings to it? Yeah, five million. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like they just going to throw them into Yeah, like exactly. A, like basically stoking a furnace That was it, thing? yeah. So he's... No, he's not a good guy. <laughs> I mean, he... Anti-hero it, kind of thing? No, I mean, you're fucking feeding... Five million beings into a to save twenty an engine billion to save yeah I mean no I mean now we're back to that yeah yeah we are but the needs of the many and you know where do you draw the line and everything it's funny um, so wait so Superman has a super flare now mm-hmm. he uses his lasers and eye beams and after a while it just became this big massive fucking flare like a solar flare right. except he's drained afterwards what do you think of this power. It's, it's, it's like a finishing move in a video game. It's too yeah. much. It, I think it is like a finishing move. I think that's a and, great description. But it leaves him done for the next 24 hours. Like he's human for 24 hours, which can be interesting to explore the different sides of Clark and all that shit. And I like the, I like it. I, I don't know why I like it, but I, I kind of do. Uh, the idea of him using his, his heat vision to kind of like, again, to stoke the fire in his cells and to, to use that solar energy to fire it out of his eyes. Mm. And, you know, when he gets, like, really fucking super heat visioned out, I, I see where the solar flare would follow next. Yeah. And, I don't know, it, it, um, the best idea is, like, a, f- a finishing move in a video game. like, And not even just a finishing move, like, you know, Ryu... Uh, t- Gets in a bunch of combos mm-hmm. and then suddenly charges up the Metsu Hadouken. No, it's more think Fatal Fury. When you build up the bar and then you when just, you keep getting the shit knocked out yeah. of you, and okay, this is your last ditch effort, and Terry Bogard does the triple power geyser instead. You have no idea what I'm talking I about. I do, do but it okay. just scares me that you're naming names and shit. Geese Howard's final rage was like the best one. He just like th- bangs the ground and lightning strikes the entire screen. Yeah. Big on fighting games, I so, was. So, I, I like it, but if he does it on dark side, if it doesn't work, he's human he's afterwards. Fucked. He's usually unconscious. The first time he's done it, so far he's been unconscious. Right. So, I don't know. It's a bonus, but it's also a fucking huge minus. I think it finally, like, I'm, I'm going to say humanizes, but it's the wrong word to use. For It humanizes the character. Like, he's yeah. so godlike that it finally knocks him down a few pegs to our level, at least for a few moments, you know? But then here's a really fucked up part. How long is this going to last? Of course. Yes. You know, with Convergence coming in a couple of months, who the hell knows? At this point, they're just having fun. And who knows? Maybe They may be doing what, you know, the same idea as Marvel. Like, let's see what sticks. Let's mm-hmm. see what people like and what they don't. At this point, we can do anything. 
You know, so, yeah. I, I really hope that Immortal Joker shit doesn't stick. But I don't really mind this whole Superman Solar Flare thing. I don't. I, I don't care for Romita being on. The oh book. my god, the fucking artwork was atrocious. Oh, it was <clears throat> like seeing somebody else draw that would have been so much better. But yeah, like uh, who was the dude that was working with Jeff Johns on Green Lantern and Flash? Ian Shriver was that something like that? I don't remember. He, uh, I, I, guys, help me out here. The name's on the tip of my tongue. Who was the dude that drew Flash Rebirth and Green Lantern when Jeff Johns was writing? Because Jeff Johns is now writing Superman, and I'm sure these stories are awesome. But I just, it's like Romita has gotten worse over the years. Like he was not this bad when he was writing, when he was doing Spider Man. I looked at some of those fucking faces of Superman, and he was like, ah, like he just. Oh my God, I can't even fucking say what I want to say. You know what I want to say. I do, don't I'm say trying it. to behave. Do. I'm trying, but you know, and you guys know what I want to say. Ah! <laughs> yeah. How did he get to school today? What conveyance drove him, and what was the overall length of the conveyance, and did he have a helmet on at the same time? That's all. We got another question or so? Um, yeah, let's, let's finish off Facebook. Um, Jorge. One, one, one last quick thing. I actually, I regret not reading this Jeff Johns story because it's sat, this is the first issue that I jumped on mm -hmm. with this and I liked it right. and I, I would have liked to go back I don't know how he's been writing for like the last six issues I think I think they yeah. started like 32 it's, it's, yeah it's just short yeah I just really wish Romita wasn't drawing it like I can't we've been asked time and again guys can good art save a bad story yes yes it can I've bought issues just because I've loved the artist yeah that's what got me into Warlands in the first place. The story was okay. The artwork was beautiful. Michael Turner's covers, just the covers, anything. got me into the Flash. Well, yeah. That's it. Yep. Bad art can ruin a good story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You need your eyes to fucking read and you start puking and gagging while you're reading. It's counterintuitive. Oh, man. Question. Go ahead. Jorge wants to know, will you guys be watching Daredevil and or Powers? Of course. Um, Pete, Save Constantine is a good show. My daughter likes it. I'm sure it's a great show. I just, I, I never got around to it. And I, I'll probably eventually watch the shit when it comes on either Netflix or something like that. I just, I'm not going to have the time to catch up on it now. But when it's, it's contained, it's like good. after the first season, I will watch. I like Constantine it's, I think, it's, as a character. It's done well. It's Gritty, it's dark. I watch all the other comic book shows. It'd be kind of blasphemous not to watch this one. Yeah, it's yeah, it's good shit. I mean, definitely, we'll, I'll be watching Daredevil. Powers uh, may may go by the way of Constantine. Like, I like this new issue that they come out with. Mm -hmm. uh, we reviewed it a couple a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and it's almost enough to make me want to go back and check out the others. Other what? Other <laughs> volumes? Yeah. Oh, don't. Really? No, because it's always the same shit. It starts out as going to get canceled. This is more like going to get canceled too. Yeah, give it a, give it six issues and we're done. <laughs> Ooh. Mm, lasagna. Yep. Uh, also from Facebook, our buddy David Wiltsey, hope I said that name right, uh, commented on the Punisher picture that we put up on Instagram and Facebook. Oh, okay. And he says... Uh, can anybody else pull off this look and still be as scary? I don't even think Batman can do it. He said he's wearing white top go-go boots and, quote, what are those, opera gloves? And yet Frank pulls it off. Frank's a scary motherfucker. Yep. I didn't that... ever see Frank smoke, though. That was an interesting picture. You put that one up, right? No. Mm. Uh, Director Roger is pointing at himself. We've corrupted him. Yeah. Yeah. And this shit popping up on screen right now. Our good buddy, Mohamed El Ghul, and my dear friend, Elena Hernandez, had asked if we saw this shit. Did you guys see this? Well, you see it now. Some crazy motherfucker in Brazil has augmented his face through plastic surgery mm -hmm. to look like the Red Skull. Yeah, yeah. Snip, snip and everything. Cut his nose off to literally spite his face. It's... Stupid! And he, and he has kids. 
Stupid. And he's got kids? Yeah. God. I mean, I can understand you want to look like a character, you know? Why don't you want to look like Batman or Captain America? Get your ass to the gym, you stupid fuck. Why do you want to look like the Red Skull? First of all, why does some Brazilian who is obviously some sort of Hispanic, is that the proper term, Hispanic? Brazilians are close enough. Portuguese, perhaps? Yeah. Why do you want to look like a Nazi? Do you know what the Red Skull would have done if he would have met you, sir? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. We're back to stoking those furnaces again. No, that's fucking true. He would have killed him I know. in a heartbeat. The Russian furnaces, yes. Yeah. He would have gassed this motherfucker. This is the most <clears throat> retarded thing I have ever fucking seen someone do. And I have seen these people who get these weird implants yeah. to put the fucking horns under their mm-hmm. head and everything. Yeah, some of them pierce the skin. Some of them just look like really fucking bad zits that haven't broken the skin yet. Cutting the tongue. The cutting the tongue in half into sp- Splitsville. Mm-hmm. The fucking, like, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not into that body, body modification. Mo- that, that what they call it? Mm-hmm. Modification? Mm-hmm. I was going to say putrefaction. Mm, too strong. Oh, man. It's like motherfuckers just wake up and look in the mirror and say, hmm, how can I make myself less employable today? I really do want that job at Hot Topic for the rest of my life. It's a great gig. It, it's, but once you get to right around 28, 29, 30, you better have a real fucking job, bro. Hot Topic ain't cutting it no more. All of the kids walking in there are making fun of your ass. Mm. And I have seen some really huge titted girls working at Hot Topic. Mm. I love Hot Topic, but Mm. I can't work there. I could walk in there, maybe buy myself a comic book t-shirt. I am not going to chat up the girl behind the counter, though. I mean, I'll I'll talk to them, like, say hi and shit, but I'm just going to stare at your tits, pay for my purchase, and walk out. Okay. You know. I don't like to embarrass myself in any way. And that is, to me, what this gentleman, whose name I don't even know, and I wouldn't give him the respect of saying it on the He's air He's going anyway. beyond embarrassing. He's... He's got <sighs> kids, man. Yeah. You got to take these kids to school. How the it, fuck? I mean, he tattooed his own eyeballs, black. And he's got, like, all this shit going it's on. He's got bags and under his eyes. And and some of it's just... black. Some... First of all, he don't even look like the Red Skull. I'm sorry, he don't. Well, he did, like, um, red and then black for the shadow. So now he needs to do the um, facial implants to bring out the cheeks more. So that way the black will be more shadowy. I tell you what, bro. You want to look like the Red Skull? How about you make an incision right about here, down here, and under here, and just tear your face off? You'll live. You will live, and you'll probably be better looking. It will be an improvement. You're fucking stupid. Yes. Got another question? Elsa Nastro wants to know, um, flash question, where did the rose go to the bathroom locked up like that? I had the same fucking question. That prison? Uh-huh. Underneath the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. underneath Star Labs. It's just a little room. It is. It's almost torture. Maybe they got holes. Not to mention, there's no, like, due process. You're right. But I mean, they're criminals, so who cares? Prove it. I mean, I watched it on TV. That's all the proof I need. I mean, if you have a good lawyer, you get away with shit. That's why William Shakespeare said, let's kill all the lawyers and kill them tonight. <laughs> he was right. Jonathan Moreno wanted to know, uh, which character do you want to see get their own movie after Infinity War? He personally question. wants to see another Hulk movie with the Red Hulk as the bad guy. <laughs> That'd be That's interesting. A, I, I like that. That would idea. be interesting. Um, I want to see if you can mix the leader because we were kind of hinted at the leader. Yes, we were. Like, let him have something to do with the Red Hulk. Maybe con General Ross into becoming him or something like that. I don't know. Or h- him have a hand in creating him or something. Yeah. I'm all for that. Maybe not con because the. the you know, the je ne sais quoi of the character is General Ross was just such a crazy fuck that he turned himself into the Hulk to beat the Hulk. Yeah. Um, he mentioned we could include other characters, like Sony characters and shit. Right. What I want to see Marvel do... Is a proper Fantastic Four movie? Yes. 
you can't have the New York skyline. Yeah, there's a big A. Without Where's the, the Baxter, Baxter building? building? And, of course, Galactus. Yeah. Fantastic Four is one and two. Doom, done right. King of Latveria, monarch, whatever. Refers to himself in the third person. Yeah. Mystic, fighter. Especially now that you have, person. like, Social Supreme. Yeah. Doctor Strange coming. And, um... That's a perfect fucking fight. With... Oh, the way Guardians of the Galaxy was, the way it showed us Celestials, which mm-hmm. we did not expect, and it was done beautifully. Now you can implement Galactus into Easily. It. Yep. These motherfuckers pull off Celestials. I would like another Punisher movie, because, I mean, this is me we're talking about. And- Punisher needs to be done. It needs to be done on fucking Netflix. Yeah, I agree. The Netflix I would University. like to see the Punisher show up on Daredevil and then... You know, blossom into his own spin off into his own TV his Punisher series. Punisher and blossom; those two words don't go. Didn't same go. Time. That's why I had to change that immediately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I look forward to Iron Fist. I, I really do. I would like to see Moon Knight. Honestly. Moon Knight would be great. Yeah, like, that was actually the first character that came to mind when I saw this question. Bear with me now. All right. I would like to see <sighs> Secret Avengers. Now, not the shitty characters we have, but, like, you have the Black Widow and the Hawkeye, and they, they look cute on the team, but they're fucking useless as shit. Okay. But if, imagine if Nick Fury created a different team. Black Widow, Hawkeye, Moon Knight, um, Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi's got to show up soon. You know what I'm saying? Imagine those characters in, like, mm-hmm. like a, a elite little, like, Navy SEALs type of Avengers. Spider-Woman? Yeah. So, I mean... Something like that. That's Secret Avengers. Done right. Not like the fucking book. Hmm. So a much more like grounded, down-to-earth vigilante team mm-hmm. is what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm with that. So I, I think our best answer for this is uh, Fantastic Four. Definitely. And Moon Knight. Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, Punisher after the fact. Punisher has to be a must. Somebody's, somebody's talking about Punisher right now. If not, somebody needs to get fucking fired right now. Yeah. And uh, we're going to end this series on another question from our good buddy Jonathan Moreno. He said, I've been reading all the Green Lantern books lately, and I've noticed something. They're turning all the villains into anti-heroes or heroes. They should change the saying, if you live long enough as a hero, you'll eventually become the villain, to if you live long enough as a villain and become popular, then you'll become a hero. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think about villains becoming heroes, good idea or bad says, I'm mixed, because when they do that, they'll never kill off that character. The stories become less interesting, and therefore, I lose interest. Certain characters, I think, work. I like Sinestro as kind of a do-gooder, but a do-gooder more or less in the Punisher kind of sense. Yes, he's space Punisher. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Doom fucking raising Valeria. Yeah. And, and Uncle Doom. No. No, that's no, not Doom. No, 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 no. I like the idea of Doom being humanized. Like, he does have a soft side. But nonetheless, I don't want to see that shit. Yeah. Like, I, you know what it is? I'm glad you brought up Doom. Uh, the, there's a certain aspect to villains that you get a guy like, let's say, um, uh, I can't even fuck, Mongol, mm-hmm. right? Who's just... A psychopath. He's yeah. out to rule the world, kill everybody, burn everyone in sight mm-hmm. until there's nothing left but a smoldering cinder for me to sit on yeah. and be thrilled about it. That's a villain. Yeah. But now you get a character like Sinestro or even Doom who deep down, they're not doing this out of greed. They're doing this because they think their way is right. Better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you guys are going about this fucked up and stupid. You're wasting your time. Like Zod. Right. Mm-hmm. Zod's a little bit more of a psycho, though. Yeah, yeah. Like, I have a better way. My methods are more effective. Sit down, shut up, and let me show you. Mm-hmm. That's what Sinestro is doing right now. That's also like, you can call the Punisher the same thing. He was yeah. a, technically a villain when he first appeared, but he was immediately popular, and they turned yeah. it around. Yeah. I mean, but the first couple appearances in Spider-Man, he was trying to kill him. Can't blame him. Right. Spider-Man. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> So when, when you have a character like that, like Sinestro or Doom, who is so self-righteous that they, you can almost, in an extreme, see their point of view, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, how many times 
have unfortunately in this real world of ours, we've seen, you know, rapists, murderers and the like go free because of some sort of technicality mm -hmm. or something like that. These characters are basically here to prevent that. And it's like, we're going to go out and do things our way. The yeah. Punisher's going to put a fucking bullet in your head. Or Sinestro's going to fucking smish you together between two large yellow vices. Yeah. Something, you know? His, his whole thing was, you know, restoring order to Quard yeah. and Korrigar. Mm -hmm. That's all he wanted to do. He wanted to be a space cop. And to do that, he decided that being scared shit of the cops was the best way to go the about it. The bad that. cop approach. I think that that level of anti-hero works. Yeah. It's when you start to take characters that shouldn't be heroes at all. Carnage! And try to make them heroes. Okay, I agree. Carnage was a fucking fiasco. That was... like Okay, I, I like the idea of Sabretooth kind of, you know, all of a sudden feeling empathy no, for what he did. No, it's been done before. What? Sabretooth's been like a goody-goody. After, um... Wolverine popped his claws in his head. I don't remember that. A while ago. Okay. Um, he popped his claws and caused some brain damage. Uh, he healed, of course, but there was some like shit missing. Right. And yeah, he tried to be a good guy for a while, but then he, it, it goes back. A, a, a savage saber tooth is ideal saber tooth. Like I just, I couldn't wrap my head around Carnage even being involved in Axis in the first place. And yes, the most of the destiny of those characters was to just turn bad again at the end of it. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless. Carnage didn't work for me. Yeah. I hated when they turned Venom into a good guy. Venom was one of the best Spidey villains ever, and they punked him. Oh, which is, did, have you caught up to Green Guardians of the Galaxy? No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The, the, well, we'll, we'll talk still about have it to later on. That. Yeah. Guys, it's that time. Remember, if you want to watch the rest of the show, you can always download this episode for 99 cents and it stays on your computer for two whole days. You can watch it whenever you want, as many times as you want. And after the two days, it's gone. For $1.99, you can download and own this whole episode. It is yours. It is DTF. Down the fuck with whatever devices you got. You can watch it anywhere, anytime. You can watch it on the can. That's usually when I like to do most of my deep thinking. And I know that the Pete's Basement show involves a lot of deep thinking. The topics we discuss are, you know, very out there. They're very outside the box, mm. you know. It requires a lot of concentration. <laughs> Don't push. Just let it happen. <laughs> and for three ninety nine, dollars you can have this whole episode. You get... Mm all of our previous episodes, you get all of the behind the scenes stuff, you get early access to all the contests and all of the other stuff that goes on. You get it a couple of days before the rest of the crew on Tuesday. And also you get two whole weeks for free. Hey. When you first sign up, you get a two week trial period. See if you like it. If you don't like it, you can always cancel and then you don't have to pay for nothing. But we're pretty sure you're going to like it. So give it a try. Subscribe to the premium subscription for three ninety nine and reap all the benefits. And before we close out, we are going to announce the third contest of the Hellboy posters signed by artist Alex Mayleave. Those will be on Instagram as of Tuesday. You subscribers know this is coming, so you can be ready to watch for it. All you got to do is hashtag Pete's Basement Contest 10 at us on Instagram and repost the picture. That's all you got to do. And in two weeks, we'll draw the name out of a hat and good luck to all of you. If you have won uh. the poster recently in one of the last two contests, sorry, but you can't win again. Even if you want to give it to your great aunt Sally, who also loves Hellboy, she's 85 years old and she would love a Hellboy poster, well, how about you be a sport and you give her yours? Or you sign Aunt Sally up for her own Instagram, have, us follow, have her follow us, and post the shit on her own damn wall. Just saying. If Aunt Sally's capable enough to read Hellboy, she's capable enough to use a phone and fucking go on Instagram. We love you, Aunt Sally. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Be sure to tune into the rest of the show. And if you're not subscribing 
or getting the rest of the video show, make sure you go and download the audio that is free on peachbasement.com. See you next week. Don't even fucking get me started. Did anybody watch the game on Sunday? Yeah, I did. Those dumb fucks. They had it in the bag. It was over. It was fucking over. I mean, good for the fucking rookie kid, man. The, the kid on the Patriots mm -hmm. that caught the interception. Yeah. He has all of Boston girls and probably a couple of guys offering a blowjob him every day. His, not to mention his fucking salary just went up $10 million. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I just hate Tom Brady. I do. I do too, but... And Bill Belichick. Yes. But man, that fucking game was won. And how do you not give it to the fuck it that has been bulldozing his way through the front line the entire game? Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> A.K.A. Beast Mode. Robert Ducky, you're no one. Do not thought I would punch you right in the fucking ass. <laughs> so you would punch me in the ass after I fart? You would get that close to it? I'm already there. Man. Oh, you are holding? You didn't see that? I fucking hate you. This is awesome. <laughs> Glasses and everything. Yeah, Rich got it for me. Ah, <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> OCD? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it belongs over here. It's the third guest. Oh, of course.